These peace, peaceful people. What's good with the folk? How y'all doing? Take a look at nature. Take a look at nature. It's a beautiful thing. Yeah. So, yeah. So, I'm back to once again <clears throat> go in on the subject of love. See, this is part two. Didn't get everything out. Didn't get everything finished last time we was on this subject. Um, but yeah, so <clears throat> I kind of just talked about it generally. I want to get a little bit more specific this time. <clears throat> so when you look at the tree, right? When you look at that, you know, that, that grand document, Tree of Life, you see that there's two different types of love. There is the lower love, <clears throat> which most of us really think is the be all end all regarding love. And that is the head heru love. Right? There's the head heru love. So, what is the head heru love? And why is it the lower love? <clears throat> So, you know, as much as I love me some Heteru, you know, we have to remember that Heteru is in the lower part of the tree, right? The tree is a hierarchical structure, so the lower, the things that are on the bottom or in the lower portion are things that are ranked lower, right? Hmm, interesting. Coming to this bridge... <laughs> coming to this bridge that uh, I've never been on and uh, I know that gunshots I usually hear from over here there's a gun range over here so guess I'm going into uh, dangerous territory but uh, <clears throat> the path is open so I figure I shouldn't get hit anyway um, <clears throat> yeah so Heru's love is conjugal love Heteru love is the, that affection love, you know, it's that, ooh, she's so sweet, that type of love, you know, it's that love that, it's that, I want to see you, well, when I see you, I want to hold you, possess you, I want to have you, you minds, you know, um, it's that love, that affection that I feel for you. You know, because I want you to be mine or to be with me, to be, you know, partners or whatever the case, right? Or, you know, see some people, and we got R&B music to thank for this. Uh, some people think that affection and sex is love. You know what I mean? And, you know, that's why I'm thankful to have come into this information because it's a lot of things that need to be reversed a lot, of, a lot of education points that we get that are false and if we don't ever get the clue that they need to be reversed then they don't get reversed you know so um this piece about love is definitely a big point that you know uh, it has people stuck you know what i mean people wind up getting stuck about this thing called love you know, um, especially the Heteru love. Because, see, sometimes that thing that you think is love is what? We all know it. Infatuation, right? Infatuation is a trap. That's a trap. That's always going to get you caught up. Because, you know, you're looking at something, you're not knowing what it is. And you're interpreting, interpreting it as one thing, and it's not that. You know, you know it's this person love your look. If someone loves your look and, you know, you sit them down and you say, why you love me? And they say, I love you because you're so pretty. That's hetero love. It's not real love. You know, or they say, you know, because your sex is the bomb. That's not real love because you cook so nice all the time. That's not love. You know, the cooking might be closer to something, but, you know, that's not love. Um... Yeah, and so, pardon me, I was eating my echinacea. Um, yeah, man, 
So we get caught up, you know, we get caught up in false beliefs about love, right? Heheru's love is great, but Heheru's love is a, a love that you should have only after you have this other thing, this real love, all right? And let's talk about that. So, you know, what is this thing called, this real love that I'm talking about? What is this thing that's higher up on the tree, you know, that exists in a hierarchy, uh, you know, on the tree, <clears throat> right? So this is the, the love of sphere four, which is Ma'at, right? The same, you know, uh, sphere which governs law, right? Governs true love, right? You know, why is this true love versus the conjugal love in sphere seven? This is true love because this is love that's based upon a truth of your being, right? The love that's based upon one again, self-love, right? We talked about that. Self-love is this understanding that there's only one spirit here, you know? There's only one of us. It's only one of us here, you know? And so I have to love you because you are me. I am you, you are me, at the essence, you know? We can play with it from not at the essence, right? We can play with it from somewhere after the essence. And if we do, then we miss that part. We miss the part that we're all the same. We're all equal. We're all of a portion, excuse me, we're all a portion of the source, right? But, you know, how does that help you? How does that help you to identify with all of this somewhere after the source? It doesn't. It fragments you. It makes you susceptible to the traps that come with separating yourself from others. You know, hate, jealousy, envy, um, ill will, you know, you know combativeness. Right? You can't identify with those things and identify self in others. Right? <clears throat> so, you know, so the goal is self love. The goal is self love because through self love I love you. Right? Through the fact that, and then what, the, what, what does that look like? What does it look like when I self love? I love self. And so, love you. Well, you know, that means that I'm, I'm, I'm now, I have to, you know, to shudder at this thing called enemy, right? If I have an enemy, then that means that I'm not acting through self. And I'm not expressing self-love, you know? Um, and that's hard to do. That's not something that I got mastered, you know? But, you know, I'm making strides, you know? I'm making strides, you know what I'm saying? I know how to see my quote-unquote haters as little brothers and sisters. I can do that. I'm big enough to do that, you know? I'm big enough to do that. So, you know. So, yeah. So, self-love. I treat you well because I treat myself well. I treat you. I don't cheat you because I wouldn't cheat me. And I understand that if I do cheat you, I'm cheating me. Why would I do that? I'm not stupid, I'm not goofy. Man, it's a big old wall here. I wonder, the bullets smash into that thing. <laughs> Definitely a gun range on the other side of this thing, y'all. Hopefully I don't get killed. <laughs> um, yeah, man, I got second readings. Let me turn around. <laughs> uh, yeah, man, so, so it's about self-love. It's about loving self, you know? Loving self so that you can love others. You can't love others if you don't love self, right? This is my at love. This is, I believe the Christians call this agape love, right? This is that real love, that love that... You know, I think I used an example before, you know, the two innocent, hate-free little kids who find each other on the playground. And, you know, the one says, you want one of my taffies? You know what I mean? And the other says, 
Yeah, and they take the taffy and say, hey, have one of my crackers. And then they're sharing, right? These two elevated souls understand love, you know? Understand true love. That give seeking nothing in return love. That's true love. When I can give to you and it not be about what you got for me, right? But I give to you because I give, right? I give to you because you need, right? I just give, right? I don't seek to get a reward based on that. You know, see, at Het Haru, we're not giving because, you know, we don't seek a reward. You know, at Het Haru, when you give me some, I'm going to give you some. That type of thing. I'm going to give you some. And I'm be looking like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Can I have some? <laughs> like, yeah. You know what I mean? I'm trying to be funny, but I'm serious. That's how it goes. At Het Haru, we're giving and receiving. Right? You know, we're, it's, it's, uh, what's the word? Giving and receiving. I can't think of the word. Um, but that's what we're doing at Het Haru. At Het Haru, we're, you know, reciprocating with each other. You know, but at Ma'at, you know, we're just loving, right? We're just throwing love out there. Why? Because we are source. That's why. We love because who's going to do it? You got to love. Who are you going to do it? You know what I'm saying? Because we're the creator in the world. That's why we love. We just love. We are the creator here. We got to do it because ain't nobody else going to do it. You know, so that true love, that ma'at love is for those people who realize this. Who realize that life is more to life than just giving and taking. You know, sometimes life is just about giving. Sometimes you got to just give because there's need. You know, sometimes you just got to give because someone needs. Yeah. So I hope I cleared that up. Yeah, man. So, uh, yeah, I hope I cleared that up. Peace and love. We do it again.